So there's a new there's a new yeah. series of huh. Cool Cat books out. Are they coloring books? Very cool. Well, he he did some before, like Cool Cat does wrestling or whatever. Yeah. Cool Cat stops bullying. Cool Cat loves baseball. Here's another one, and this is Cool Cat loves wrestling. Hey, here's Cool Cat loves alternative fuels, and this one right here is Cool Cat loves the soldiers. Cool I'm gonna Cat take a wild wrestling. guess and assume that a lot of them are just old shit that he's trying to peddle. He does like to recycle do, shit. Do, 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 do. Books! books! We love books! Wow, he doesn't even try at all anymore. Books! Oh, yeah. No music? I mean, like, he has the... the he thinks that he can pull off the cool cat voice and have people not notice. <laughs> like, that's how much self-awareness he has. He's right? nailing so, it. So what's the... Do we know the story why the original cool cat guy left? Uh, because they had a falling out. Because, because he Derek's was working insane. for Derek Savage. Yeah, he was like... What are yeah, you talking it was about? just like... It was over... I, I, Man, I can't even remember the exact specifics, but it was over like nothing. It was just like... Yeah, he wasn't... He wasn't paying him enough, and... Uh, Oh, yeah, it was like, I think the argument started with uh, him suggesting that, like, Cool Cat shouldn't be in the 420 Awards promoting weed to kids. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, like minor things like that. Like, hey, Derek, like, I know you're asking me to put Cool Cat in the 420 Awards, but don't you think that there might be an issue with using a children's a character branding issue. in a drug uh, festival? <laughs> so what's the... What's the difference between Cool Cat and Baby Cat? Uh, one's a baby. And Cool Cat loves wrestling. Look at that guy. Yeah, yeah. Baby Cat looks like they got I've Scott. Seen baby Cat. And it, threw him. It's Goldberg Steve Austin. Yeah. yeah. Books! It is Goldberg. Books! 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 So cool. oh, books! 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 We love to read books! The new summer jam. Well, hey, guys, how you doing? It's Derek here. Hey. We got some books. Look at the we twinkle in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. He's excited to sell these books. You books. think he sends these out like the scholastic reading program to middle schools and, and elementary schools? I don't know what he does with these books. For you. Hey, let me ah. tell you a little story. Does he try to like pitch them to schools in hopes that he, schools he was, will buy them up? He was on like a news station like trying to sell them a while yeah. back. So. He squirts jelly between the pages and just squeezes them. <laughs> I started writing kids books about 20 years ago. First, I started out writing screenplays, then novel manuscripts. I said, hey, I want to start writing some kids books. I'm a very accomplished writer. And I writer. said, hey, maybe I have the vocabulary for a kid's book. <laughs> yeah, very accomplished writer. Maybe I writer. should think smaller. There's... Maybe the screenplays and novels were a huge mistake. Was to write a kid's book for every age of child. For I wanted a Derek Savage book. A kid's book, book for every, every race. Every age every of age child. Of, a 60 year old child. <laughs> every flavor of for child. Every color of child. <laughs> for every kid on every age. And I think that's just a great positive thing. So now I got a really, really beautiful package put together. Let me Ugh. show you what's happening here. Now for my baby series, we have Baby Cat. Is okay, it going to be the one. same type of book, but just a baby character? Or is there going to be like something about the book itself that is more geared towards the age? Let's let's see what happens here. Baby cat let's loves let's you. Find out together. And how about, whoa, Open it up. Wait, here's baby cat. Open says, it up, hello. coward. <laughs> hello. And, uh, how do you make a book out of baby cat says hello? <laughs> yeah. It's one page. Baby you know, cat baby. found out he was bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby cat is so silly. He's the silliest baby there is. So that's our three oh, on baby books. You're the class. silliest baby there is, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You 58-year-old baby. I got another one Every right age. here. I'm still working on it. I think be finished in a couple of days. But I have four baby cat books. Four and baby then cat books. we're going up to our next one. And oh, first, let me show you that Dan Sides of all the books. Adult package. cat. Danny D. Dar -dar -dar. I'm sure to show you how beautiful they are. These are the baby cat books. This is how I formatted them. Everything is is just universal. So okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it really so, okay. look or is dressed like a baby? Okay, hold on, hold on. He's saying <laughs> he's saying that this is marketed for babies. Like, what do you mean by ba like? How yeah. how old are you expecting them to read that text? Like really? Like I'm sure you can read. Like baby, if you're talking about like literal babies. Are we going to have text like that at the bottom, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Literal babies, they can't read this shit. Yeah, like, start at, like, age three early. Come year. on! And by the time they can read, they won't read that shit. Yeah, yeah no. they don't Stupid. care about the fucking ranch. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, what do you, you don't even, do you don't even, like, read babies' picture books ever, right? Like, what do you do with babies? You give them, like, a dangling little key thing. Right? You're, like, <laughs> you're like, A is for Apple, and the kid's like, Apple. No. Apple. There's two lines of dialogue, and all the pictures are, are laid out this way. It helps to teach babies. And just look how beautiful it these helps to teach are, babies. I mean, <laughs> teach babies about the ranch. <laughs> it's just the same picture on every page. Show them what pain's it's all just about. Like, That's right. It's just the, it's just baby cat looking weird. <laughs> yeah, why? Uh, they're sometimes all just like, his mouth is open at him. Let's what, give credit where it's there's due. no creativity. <laughs> why so the many attire changes from page to page? There's a red background on one end, and then the other one he's outside. Yeah, baby cat changes his clothes every fucking page. He has an issue. <laughs> Gorgeous, so positive for babies. Just baby really cat has an good, eating nice, disorder. Nice wholesome messages. Also, now after that, hey, we're going up to. to he's just to plopping the books on the ground after he's book. done. Now I'm going to give oh. you. A, a okay, this one looks good. There's a horse on it. He there does is. motivational speeches what is, in high is schools. That a, what is the? Is that a lion? What is that? I, is that a cat? What is a lion that's at like the barn? a human face There's a on fucking that? Like, leopard at the... What the fuck it's is... It's a hyena what is that leopard. Face? It's just a hyena that's at the terrifying. fucking barn. Like, yeah. Let a hyena into the, the... There's an elephant at the barn? What is that? <laughs> I don't know, but I got a stiff one. Yeah. Uh -huh. A little... Uh, I'll tell you a little thing that I read when I first started writing kids. But it was <laughs> I read... Um, know that children love animals. Ch children? Children. children. So, so that was Ch a tough one, Derek. You want to take another pass at that? Children you want to take another pass at children? Ch the, children? The, the, what the did market he say you like? cater to? You want to try the say, say the word? Can we play that again? Maybe? Yeah. Ch children love what? Dinosaurs? Children. Uh, I'll tell you a little thing that I read. That's why he says babies. Books. I read... Um, no, children, yeah, children too much. Animals. Animals. Jordan, 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 love Jordan love animals. animals. Yep. Jordan love Play animals. it one more time so we can get a clean, clean one without Jordan, talking. Jordan, Jordan right. love animal. All right. So now after that, hey, we're going up to to, to our best buddies book. Now I'm going to give you a, a little, a, a little, tell you a little thing that I read when I first started writing kids books. I read um. Know that children love animals. James Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> James, James wow. Jordan. That's Jordan. where I was coming from. You know, like Baby Cat. My first book was Trolley the Trout. I'm about to show you all of those right there. I remember. That's where Trolley the Trout. Sounds like cool. we've got a bit of a trolley problem. <laughs> I, this is this is perfect. Kill them all. This is like perfect, uh, like lore incorporation for me. I'm like, I remember Charlie the Trap. <laughs> cat books came in, then Baby Cat, and then Born of oh, Best Buddies. And in this one right here, we got um, oh got got Bobcat, we got a cow. It's a Bobcat. I knew it. Trash cat. It's Scott. Fucking trash cat. Get a better tail. Bobcat Scott no Henson. Ben, shut your fucking mouth. Not today. Not today, Ben. He Not also today. loves. Wait. He loves fish too. <laughs> Just like a real cat should. I do like Bobcat Goldway. Yeah. A, a a stubby yet girthy, effective tail. Also, I a real say. chode of a tail. When's the last time you guys watched all <laughs> six police tail. academies back to back? <laughs> Sunday. Oh, we got the duck. Hey, we got we got Henry the horse also now. And the, these are really fun stories. And, and the best buddies, they're our best friends, and they really always look matter. Out and Black for, Power. Oh, hold on, why real. are we Black Power? I'm, I'm sorry. Can we go back a yes. second and see why this? Because they're best friends. It's like this guy doesn't even have. Derek Jordan. does it everything. Every time he tries to sell a product, he does Black Power. Okay. Hey, we got. We he got doesn't Henry know what the it's horse for. Also now, and the, these are really fun stories. And and the best buddies. They're our best friends, and they I, really always look out for I each I love other. all of these Derekisms. I love these savages. Like, it's it's always just so entertaining. The misspoken words, the black power, the, you know. My favorite was Ventwilla <laughs> Twist. <laughs> Ventwilla <laughs> Twist. I don't know if Brett Keen himself could butcher children that badly. No, no, he can say I children. I think he could. I think Savage has him beat. And here they go to the circus. Now this is how I lay my best, but uh, best buddies book out. You're, I don't know if John Wayne Gacy could butcher four. children that bad. <laughs> <laughs> my other favorite was Monster Hunt. Monster Hunt. Yeah, instead of Monster Hunter, Monster. He no, could. Really where like is Henry geez. Horace? I like to ride on his back like a cowboy, and that would be a cool act, act to, to do. do. <laughs> 
Oh, huh. and then it looks I mean, like... The, yeah. It is written in Derek's voice. I'll give him that. <laughs> Look at that dumb horse face there. Yeah. Written it by a four-year-old like for four-year-olds. I'm looking at that dumb horse face. Why is, this, why is this Chimo in the Planter's Peanut cosplay rubbing that horse down with a diaper? <laughs> <laughs> that is what's happening. Uh, um, 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 illustration. And, and aren't these just so beautiful right here? I mean, these are just right so, here. So his, his vocabulary is just it's it's on a loop forever. You know, <laughs> right here, right, right there. Beautiful. Always says it. Yeah. Really good. I love book. to boogie woogie. He, he loves. He that milks word. the fuck. He out uses of that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, remember uh, who was it? The dirty dog rap. Hell yeah. Like co coronavirus is fake. Well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that shit's ridiculous. <laughs> and and he doesn't commit to a rhyme. He'll rhyme the first two lines, and then he's just he's anywhere. out of ideas. He doesn't know words. Yeah. <laughs> he's freestyling. I I don't know if I could write as poorly as he I'll does. I'll cough on if them. I, if I was trying just to scare them. Yeah. Oh, he puts so himself bad. in the mind of a three year old first, then he writes them. Yeah. Right, your best well, stay out of those three year olds. Be something of an audience surrogate saying what the, what the audience is thinking about coronavirus. Yeah. Why doesn't he just have the guy in the dirty dog suit do cool cat? Because he won't be the, the same doesn't, guy. He, next he doesn't time. voice. Isn't oh. it him in the, the dirty dog suit? No, because that guy could like. It's a black. Man. Yeah, that guy was like dancing. That guy, oh. Yeah, yeah. So this is sort of like. He was voice in Dirty Dog. Probably yes. just like the dad of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the baby age, and you're going up to, to the cool cat age, and, and that's where we're at now, folks. And that's the cool cat books. Now, check this out. I'm going to show you what we got here going. Um, Baseball. And also, all of these show books, wrestling. Everything. Wrestling. Now. Full page. So Full this is page. this seems that it's yes. pretty clear it's a different artist between the regular cool cat and the baby cat. Yes, the it's artist It's difficult has for Derek to work with anyone <laughs> consistently over like more than a year. Yeah, everyone he's ever worked with like will have some sort of falling out with him. He's like David O. Russell. Yeah, Derek's not a long-term <laughs> relationship guy. Yeah. I'd love to hear the falling out uh, between him and Eric Estrada if that ever. I happened. don't know if there was a, so with Eric Estrada and Vivica A. Fox. They didn't actually, they didn't know they were going to be signed on for like a movie. They thought that they were in like a short PSA because yeah. everything that Derek made up until a point was just tiny, short little like, mm. oh, this is an anti-bullying thing. So they go in probably well under the pay grade being like, okay, this is like a good PR thing, like community, yeah. like it won't show up anywhere. It's just, for, you know, like I don't even, a web short. I don't know. It was like a little five minute segment. He takes that existing footage after having gotten them into it yeah. and then constructs constructs all these other shorts that he's been around and then merges them together right yeah, and, yeah. and he created his film off of that they didn't sign up to be in a film they signed up to be in this like tiny little psa where at the end they go like and bullying is wrong and then he just turns it into a film and puts their face on the poster a for profit like, just kind film. of like yeah kind of like a really shitty thing to do yeah. and just stitches things together where like in the previous scene like all the dialogue is just them explaining like why why Mama Cat and Daddy Derek aren't in the next scene. They're like, oh, we'll just drop off Cool Cat, but then I'll go back here because you still got to get ready. Blah 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 blah. And it's just like, yeah, literally just justifying why the next scene is set up that already existed that you're trying to wedge in. And the they, they're like the they're the big names in that movie. They're the they're most on the poster. Yeah, they're the he most famous the people in that movie. It's sad. Like, well, they had the them. most screen time, so it makes he sense. He tricked them into being in the movie. Right. It's a lot like that movie 43. I, yeah. Exactly. I don't remember where it was from. I think you, you'll you probably remember. Uh, there was this video of Derek Savage and the guy in the cool cat suit, and they were at like this fancy dinner or something. Yeah, it was like a part of the Hollywood parade thing. Okay, that's what they I got, they managed to get like a float in the Christmas parade or whatever. You buy your way in, right? Like you do, yeah, do you probably. donate some money and Pay to play, baby. Yeah, it's like you get you get put on through the, the donation. Yeah. Okay. Then they have the meet and greet afterwards where everybody who donated goes and schmoozes. Yeah. I mean, just look how spectacular these things are. Spectacular. He likes that word a lot, too. I'm so proud of he him. only so knows, more. like, ten words. <laughs> oh, so long, so that line there, are you a cool cat? I, I didn't get to read the second page. Do we know if he was a cool cat? Oh my Do God. we know? I would guess probably. <laughs> I, I'm going to lose sleep at night. <laughs> Another weird thing about 
Derek is that he really loves his Eddie Van Halen guitar and he wants to keep showing it off to everybody. There's a lot of things that he holds dear to his heart that he just injects into the kids' movies as if he's supposed <laughs> to be impressing the target audience with it. He's like, oh, look, the Ghostbusters car! It's like, the kids don't fucking He know. probably uses it as a tax write-off. It's like when Dio played South Park. <laughs> yeah. Thank like you for keeping this song number one. It's like Christian Bale talking about Huey Lewis in the news. Right. <laughs> hip to be square yeah. but we got a cool cat loves baseball wrestling okay, you already know about this yes cool cat loves wrestling oh, yes wrestling. he said wrestling yeah, he does. so happy of course he did where's he from originally uh like mississippi hell? i don't know i don't know southern maybe... ohio probably i don't know it sounds more like texas or like uh I don't know, Alabama, maybe. This is such a fun story. This is where Cool Cat oh, is. Uh, I mean, he lives in LA, like the LA area. He lives right? in Vegas now. Oh, he does. He moved Vegas. from that's LA the, to Vegas. That's the poor man's LA. He's a Vegas guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Him and Neil cool Breen in the same city. The it's very chaotic. <laughs> Time to collab. I wish, but they would never. They would have. They, <laughs> they think the other one's a hack. That's a great face with that, that pause right now. Cool, eh. cool cat's doing like an airplane spin, but he's, he's not spinning. Like he's, a gorilla press airplane spin. That's fucking sick. <laughs> yeah. he, he's summoning God for a copyright claim. What do you think of that tail, Scott? <laughs> yeah. Solid. Yeah. It's a good tail. Is that yeah. a good wrestling move he's doing? He yeah. It's like it's a, uh pr pretty impossible unless the person is really tiny you a big guy could do it on a really small guy but, cool but otherwise so strong. it's pretty yeah i feel like cesaro could it's do pretty that. impractical you know an english word cesaro could do it <laughs> to marco word. stunt yeah easily exactly yeah now uh, scott have you ever worked with tony terrible <laughs> I, I, tony terrible and i have not crossed paths so i feel like he's a jobber for these cats like i, I don't know he, yeah he is. I uh, actually, I, I will be. I will be wrestling jobbers for cats on uh, on Saturday in Everett. <laughs> so it should be fun. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll see if I can do this. If one of them's small, I'm gonna try to do this. Oh my god! This Saturday in Everett. <laughs> Saturday in Everett. I love nice. this face. Terrible and Tony terrible is. Oh god, he hates kids. He thinks he they hates kids. Stink. That's like but every villain is cool. just they hate kids. Was oh god. Was the dirty <laughs> dog? Was the dirty dog opinion in Cool Cat <laughs> stops coronavirus actually Derek's opinion? I don't know. It is Derek's. Well, opinion. I mean, like yeah. Derek. It, Derek was doing it's this Derek's weird opinion, ass but thing. enough people have told him it's bad that he made it the bad guy's opinion. Well, but I he don't... wanted to get that opinion on film. I don't know. I don't. It's it's really difficult to like figure out his perspective on it because he's like, what's weird about it already is like he's like this is the coronavirus film where we're showing both sides of the argument. Right. Like, that's <laughs> that's a saying. red flag usually. Yeah. Like when they want to show both sides of the argument when one of the arguments is, yeah. is on shaky ground. He's like, I don't believe in COVID, but I want this to be shown in schools. Yep. <laughs> yes. He probably believes in bullying too. He probably loves bullying. I also. do love bullying that's, a lot more than I love COVID. Because when Cool Cat came out, what? That was like the first one. That was like 2012, 2013? 2015, I think. Oh, was it 15? Because yeah. that's when the anti-bullying thing was huge. The anti-bullying thing? Yeah, it was huge. I guess so, yeah. He is kind of like an opportunist. Yeah, there the anti-bullying was this huge push. Remember Ban Bossy and all mm -hmm. that crap? Like it was that was all the, around the, the same be, time. The be a star campaign. Yeah. I like, don't be a bully. I like how be the, a star. Yep. I like how bullying. the anti bullying campaign was such a failure that they just turned it into targeted bullying. Mm. We need an anti bullying yeah. campaign. Anti bullying. Do that. mm. That'll never yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> then they were just like, okay, you guys aren't gonna stop bullying, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna direct your attentions towards Johnny Depp. <laughs> we're gonna direct your attentions toward <laughs> Go after him. Cast part is big red. And Big Red loves kids, so that's the match, right? Oh, you know what? That's not Goldberg, Steve Austin. That's Big that, Red. That's Bill Burr on Big steroids. It's oh, true. wow. He's oh, my God. Big muscle. I wonder how Bill so, Burr's wife would react to Bill Burr on steroids. Okay, we got Cool Cat loves I mean, it'd be the most, what is, the uh, is that a baby? Burr has gotten in years. Is that a baby in a bikini? It that's almost, a midget. As, as a lot of you know, uh, I... I uh, <laughs> I was subscribing. I was subscribing to my girlfriend's OnlyFans because she doesn't have a lot of subscribers. So I made about thirty to forty accounts to follow her because I wanted to see her succeed. 
And it turns out, turns out she started to uh, fall for one of my 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 accounts, and I felt really bad because you know she loved she wanted to meet up with this guy, and I didn't want to break her heart when he didn't exist. So I hired a Bill Goldberg type to meet up with her. And uh, it's uh, so far things are working out really well. I would just and, like to point and, out uh, and assault her so, so so as to end the relationship and send her back to you. Yeah, I was like, just do a little, do a little over the top rape stuff, and then she'll come back to me. Yeah. Okay? He was like, no problem, and then he spit in my face. <laughs> I, w- I would just like to point out, like every illustration of Cool Cat, he has like thick ass thigh. Look at that shit. Is that a penis bulge? Like, what's going on there? Like, what's happening? With, what's happening? With the cross, <laughs> that's, that's, the his crotch area. that's his thigh. That's his thigh. But are it's... you saying he he dresses to the right? Yeah. Yeah, he's got a dilapidated muscle here where the knee doesn't <laughs> like. Yeah, he's he's so extra. It's not proper. And that, 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 the yeah. bikinis on or the the one piece suit on the woman says super mom. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby. <laughs> well, yeah, because he has to put some kind of text on it to make it clear that it's not a baby. Look at her fingers. Oh my gosh. So that's like it's like a child beauty pageant contestant. I don't know. That's toddlers yeah, and tiaras. The yeah. youngest mom. Honey boo boo. Beach. Cool cat loves vacations. Right oh, here. going to this Vegas. Is cool cat wins a trip for a family vacation. Black right here. I got you. Know, <laughs> and this is also one project that I'm now working on. This is a book and a short. Cool short cat loves project. vacations in Las Vegas. Not bad. Just fucking. He every single. He's always talking about how he's making something and then just like never makes it. This is cool. Cat loves vacations, a family friendly Las Vegas story. I look forward to next year. It's what people accuse me of doing. The fourth biggest award show in the world. Wait, what happened to this year's? Uh, yeah, he hasn't awards. released this year's yet. Did it We're even still happen? Kinda just, where's like, where's twenty twenty two? This was supposed to be the year where it was the fourth biggest. Right. That this was the countdown. This was the, what it's all. Did been he even do it? We don't know. The I guy, don't know. the guy that's his little. Uh, his friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the chat the one time. I the yeah. last time we were talking about Derek. Yeah. He was in the chat. Um, Alistair. Uh, yeah. How did he land that job? So I know, by being in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by just <laughs> by just being there. By existing in I Vegas. The same way that the kids in fucking uh, what was that Keanu Reeves baseball movie? Uh, hardball. Yeah, the same way the kids in Hardball won over Keanu Reeves heart by just their ability to show up. <laughs> it's official. See if we Poor can get G, baby. It. Um, I need a, the cast. One actress. Um, I know who I'm going to be for. Right? That Don't was the deal in that movie. Or not. Yeah, yeah. Please, Keanu Reeves please. gets sick of his shit and who hits him with wait, a wait, wait, baseball wait. bat. He said, "I know we we need an actress. I know who, no." You don't need to rewind. He said, "We need an actress. I know who I'm going to be p- pitching for. I don't know if we're going to get her or not. Will he say yeah, I something know. crazy like Halle Angelina Berry. Jolie? Like, will, what will he say? Do you think will he'll, he name it? Will yeah, he I hope say he it? names it. And I hope it's Let's Natalie listen. Portman. I know. I know. Children love Margot Robbie. <laughs> Ch- children. <laughs> children love Margot Robbie. You get it? Um, I need a, the cast. One actress." Um, I know who I'm going to be pitching for. Don't know if we're going to get her or not, but Miss Britney Spears was just. What the fuck? Yes! Miss Britney Spears? To be honest, who saw that coming? No, it makes so much sense, though. It's perfect. He's actually going to land her. I okay. didn't, I didn't yeah. know he was the somebody he could land. Britney Spears. He's going to get her in a manic spiral now that she's out of her conservatory. She's, she's been posting like. She's been posting uh, shit to Instagram that would get most people banned from Instagram. Queen. Oh. Like, almost totally naked. A proud like, queen. Eric Andre's posted full nudes to Instagram a few times. Yeah, people... It's, I mean, it's it's weird get, how, it gets removed, but... Like, it's weird know. how Instagram picks and chooses who they, they pop off. But. Britney's is, like, strategic where it, it doesn't get banned, but it's so close to being totally naked. And she does it constantly. It's not, like, a rare thing. She's a queen. We free Britney. Like what are they going to do? Ban Britney Spears from no, Instagram? They, we couldn't free the nipple, but we could free Britney. Right. Rewind like five seconds. We need to hear his yes. justification here. Right. Crossroads, great film. Yeah. <laughs> or not, but Miss Britney Spears was just in Vegas a couple weeks ago when she announced publicly that she loves Las Vegas. And now that she's married, congratulations, Britney. Very, very, very happy for you. You know, you never know. She may be open to do a, a nice kids project. You know, wouldn't that be so awesome to get Britney Spears? I already have her contact info <laughs> on her. <laughs> What? I already have her contact him. I'm yeah. Doxter. I, I DM'd her on he Instagram. He has her Instagram. Yeah. Oh, probably, yeah. 
get to her people and everything. So, hey, the pitch is going out. You can bet your bottom dollar. He relied on his speech and impediment it's there, funny, too, to get him out of like, a sticky one. He's like, a no, nice kiss no. project. No sane <laughs> human nice being. Kiss project. No sane human being would put out, like, a, a video on their channel saying, like, this is who I want to get. And I, like, you have no... You have no indication that you possibly could get them. But you're trying to, like, I guess he's trying to be like, oh, maybe my fans will, like, tell her, like, that you should be in this. It's like, it's like when we tried to get De Niro on this show. Yeah. Stupidest idea like, we ever had. Oh, like, my God. No Bobby. fucking way. Literally eight hours ago, it was reported by TMZ. Britney Spears' Instagram disappears without warning. Oh, no. Great. She's no. going to work with Derek Savage. I, was just, I knew it. I was just looking to yep. see if it was still there. She took it down so she That's could have funny. a more kids-friendly appearance. To be in this film. True. In Vegas, I talked to Joseph ago when she announced. She's doing a movie for the kids. Kids. I made three posts on Instagram. Las Vegas. And now that she's married, congratulations, Brittany. Very, very, very happy for you. Instagram's you know, just Twitter, you but you can't post porn. Like, fuck. With the <laughs> kids project. You know, wouldn't that be so awesome to get Brittany Spears? I already have her contact info on how to Instagram get is like Twitter with a thousand characters. Hey, the pitch is going out, and you can bet your bottom dollar on that one. And, um, and, of course, now I had the little mini books there for a while on Cool Cat Stas Bullying. You may be familiar with this one, but... I got oh, the big book. Look how great these books are. Oh, Lordy B. Look oh, at Lordy. the fucking yeah. DSLs on Mama Cat. Can we yeah, talk about that them. for, like, 45 minutes? What does yeah. that stand yeah. for? DSLs? Dick sucking lips. Got yeah. It. All right. A lot of people <laughs> think it has to do with blowjob capability. Uh or uh, or internet bandwidth. Oh, I love internet DSL? bandwidth. DSL. Yeah. yeah. Why is Cool Cat so muscular? Look at him. Yeah, I modeled for it. <laughs> well, now that Derek's wearing the suit, he has to be muscular. How often do you see yeah. the fucking tail come out of the pants? Like this is weird to me. I think a lot I of anthropomorphic characters do that. Well, usually right? the tail's already like not shown though in the drawings. It's just like poking out from the profile. But now we're seeing this. Well, if you don't see the butt, you're not going to see the hole in the pants for the tail. But if you have a back shot, then you're seeing pants hole. What and I'm about? right now I'm seeing the back shot for the first time because I don't peruse yeah. this sort of material. What Before you saw it, what did you think was going on? I never wanted to know. I figured it was just like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> he was back there making just things happen. just wanted to be a magic trick and yeah. not have to think and about it. And now I don't know. Now I know he could pull a turd out of that hole uh, if he needed to. I would just like to point out that in this children's book, the last sentence uh, starts with the word and, capital and. And I yelled loud. That's not and, something you should be t teaching yeah. children because it's improper. True. Do not begin with yeah. a conjunction. I yelled at him to leave me alone. And I yelled loudly. <laughs> Kids and adults would dig these right here. But now here's a fun one right here. Cool Cat loves space. Cool Cat gets to, gets to go cool to cat Mars. Loves Elon Musk. He, he breaks records. He becomes the first so cool. cat ever. Walk on Mars, baby. That's right. <laughs> to walk on to Mars. To walk on Mars. Because there's been many cats to walk on the moon, all right? That's Why is not... he so much bigger than, like, Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> He's a messed up perspective. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, almost as tall as the rocket. That's cool, cat. Also, this book is even, um, 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 a uh, fine. Mr. Sean O'Keefe wrote the forward for it. And Mr. Mr. O'Keefe is the 10th NASA administrator. Uh, and, administrator. And administrator. Mm -hmm. 13 or 14 Why is there booger, like, blood marks on the page there? <laughs> Did he just get <laughs> good eye, Billy. Did he just have a good murder eye. fap like and then that. rub I might the have fucking? That. I'm glad Those are murder marks. He with definitely that book. had a nosebleed or something. There's and something what's murdered. going on there? That's yeah. icky. Alistair's missing. Oh no. Um, 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 administrator now. So um, yeah, he was he was back a few years, just a few years ago, and yeah, I got the head of NASA, the exit of NASA, the right to forward for this book. This man. is psychotic. <laughs> I love it. At least he made Neil Armstrong black. Imagine like trying to sell a book, and you're like, the guy from NASA is, is, is he like <laughs> the tenth head of NASA? It's this is a, I. It's such a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. And I'm, you could read the I'm forward, too. I'm so invested too. in the, the Derek... Uh, they had the forward right there. It was like you know. two sentences. I pray to God that someone's archiving all of this shit because like, I just don't I don't have the energy to anymore. Right. I can't be that guy that archives every video Derek posts because he deletes all of them, you know? Like, so 
I'm just, yeah. Somebody has to be. The, uh, the ending is going to be dark. I think we can <laughs> agree on that. There, it's going to end in a school shooting. Hello, Derek. Yeah. My wasn't he, wasn't he cool trying to get you to go out? It, despite many into, claims to the contrary. Wasn't he trying to get you out to go out with him into the desert for some shooting or something? <laughs> no. He was trying to. He was trying to get me to promote his like Kickstarter shit to appear in like a photo frame in like a, oh, in yeah. a shot. It was so stupid. I hope Daddy Derek doesn't do something drastic like that. But if he does, I hope that's the one that finally gets the Senate and the Congress to fix these gun laws. I hope, I hope he doesn't do something desperate like that. But if he does, I hope he does it in the cool cat fursuit. And also, <laughs> Lieutenant. And Colonel I hope Arnold it's huge. I hope he just puts up numbers. I hope it's not huge. But if he does, I hope <laughs> that's the one that gets policy change I don't in America. I often do it, but when I do... The policy change huge. would be to ban furry conventions. It wouldn't be to ban guns. <laughs> Using partners with me, and, and I, I want to be sharing what's happening there in our next video. Okay, hey, we got... Cool Cat loves going green. Going you green? that already. Green. And, uh, all these books are so cool. Now, I love it. Now, now this is what's so weird cool. about him is because, like, he believes in a lot of like Republican conspiracy theories. He's like very anti-Democrat, but then he's also like, "Oh, love the environment." Also, I love weed. Super and, like, just, pro like, weed. Yeah, there's like yeah. a couple. I, I mean, niche... but that, isn't that kind of libertarian? Libertarian is basically right wing, and I love weed. Going green is a little bit outside of like. Yeah, green I, is I would, not green. I would that, say green that one's energy interesting. Is I think weird. that one's just pandering. Also, and anti-bullying. <laughs> Could Derek Savage even say libertarian? <laughs> Libra oh my god, librarian. <laughs> page right here. So half page. I had the English and Spanish text. All it was just they didn't didn't like them. We got rid well, of the Spanish text. Spanish. Yeah, Thank they used to God. be bilingual. They used to have English and Spanish. That's funny. We no longer got, will we oh, kowtow to my... big Latin X. See, look at this. Cool cat loves the soul. Like he's he's all over the place politically. Now it's that's so funny. Republic. <laughs> Scott, it's pronounced Latin. How, how can the same person make this and going green? It's wild. <laughs> he's an independent thinker, man. Yeah. It's true. Hey, Twenty cool years long. Well, soldiers. soldiers wear this green. Was, this is so cool because the terrible, <laughs> terrible steal I'm so all scared. the books from the soldiers and the kids <laughs> and this up the cool cat to save the day, baby. No, he, maybe he goes He's over so there animated. and delivers books to all the kids. You know what I'm saying? I like. Some... I'd be terrified to be in the even if you could guarantee that he wouldn't have a gun. I'd be terrified to be in the same room as him. Like he's, you he's think he's so, trying to kill you? If, he's just, no, if just, I had just, eight inches I'd be of plexiglass, at the very like least. bulletproof between us, I it would still be an uncomfortable it's, situation. It's not about my relationship with Derek. It's about how he is as a person. He'd make it look like an accident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's so unhinged. Oh, Adam, it'd be fabulous if you would play with this gun here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, like one like, of the scary things about like the Terminator movies is you know you can't rationalize with it. You can't you can't reason them out of wanting to kill you. That's right. like Derek. Like yeah. you can't. There's not. I don't know what's behind that face. <laughs> you know, like, nothing is behind that face. <laughs> he spends the just, majority. I think we can all agree that Derek Savage would be a weird hang. Yeah, he just <laughs> spends the majority of the time monologuing in a speedo while adjusting his nuts with the barrel of his yeah. gun. Did you know my yeah. books Bottle make something? great booger catchers? <laughs> 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 Look at these bloody boogers on Cool Cat Loves Wrestling. Cool right there. And I do have another one I'm working on, and that's Cool Cat Loves Alternative Fuels. I may be changing Alternative that Fuels? Sorry, what, did, I what think, kind of Did he fuels? say Alternative? Uh, yeah, Alternative Fuels. Alternative is a classic. That. But now here's my my next series and this are the first kids books that i ever wrote in my life and this is wow trolley makes friends <laughs> and trolley the trout books i thought it was oh, trolley they're, just, they're so they're just so positive for kids it's about about this is trolley makes friends right here where he meets a, a bunch of other fish that are different than he is and they all become best buddies and have they eat each other in the actual ocean it's a very strong flavor is that a mud shark yeah, down there? What's the brown one? Yeah, it's a it's a carp bottom right. feeder. Uh... And, um, and, and, and what have I told you about calling brown things mud sharks, Billy? I thought we had a little talk about this, and you were going to stop. I used to go fishing a lot as a kid. Okay. It's trolley fun. You got to stop again. calling them that. And if you guys ever saying. saw my my uh, the Cool Cat Saves the Kids movie where they find the gun and everything. 
Really? <laughs> Which version? This is that story. <laughs> Trolley <laughs> finds a gun in the <laughs> bottom like of the ocean. A fish finds a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how don't that got touch there. It. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not going to work, first of all. It has water. a flipper guard on it. <laughs> oh, my and then there's that shot of Vivica A. Fox yeah, saying, saying, where do I stand? <laughs> this story, this story converted it over to a cool cat. But that, that's, this is where that We converted it over to a cool cat. It's, it's, it's Charlie finds a gun. It shows the kids what to do. Frantic swims to the gun. Frantically trying to sell this. It's just, this is so Oh, unhinged. no. Billy the bully uh, took the gun. He got a little wordy on Charlie. Billy the bully. Interesting. Should we Very tell somebody that he has it? <laughs> like he's rolling away with the gun tucked between his little flips. I love, I love how he just is admitting how much he recycles the same shit over and over. Like, this is literally just, oh, the bully steals the gun just like in Cool Cat. I just recycled this. For, I turned it into I a changed cool the cat. characters from fish I had cool one cat idea in 1994, <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. It was, now, it was so good, I had to just retell it. so good. Story. Now, his new idea so is to cast cool. Britney Spears in a Las Vegas movie, because two weeks ago we I heard was so she was happy. in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I heard she likes Vegas. <laughs> Billy the bully. <laughs> Look at him. He looks I mean, didn't Britney Spears have a residency in Las Vegas and she quit and stopped doing I it? I don't think it matters where she is. <laughs> like, yeah. She's not doing this. Right. He's the big end. If she Check. was next door. She's like, never going to hear about this. Her people aren't going to tell her. She's screaming if, at her agent right now. If we now. were to believe that <laughs> Derek <But> Savage... <laughs> we have seen Britney Spears past romances. Maybe she's into like being humiliated. Oh, yeah. And who's more humiliating to work for I would want, than this fucking guy? I would, not, I would want nothing more than for Derek to like land some huge celebrity like Britney Spears wow. in one of his projects. Like, I would want nothing yeah. more than for him to be involved in some like high top-tier like, celebrity like, gossip or something. Like, he we marries wish him the Britney best. Spears. You you know she has daddy some nonsense. issues. I would love that, but I, I, I don't think it's happening. I, I, I don't think it's happening either, but I could <laughs> see it happening. Her yeah. daddy issues, her uh, mental instability, her Love boobs. for children. Yeah, the cats. She loves yeah. cool cats. <laughs> loves children. <laughs> she hates bullies and guns. That's all I'm talking about. But um, just give you a little... Especially little thing. fishes with guns. Like <laughs> she hates fishes with guns. In, I lived in Hollywood. There was a lot of fighting in 1999, he said. There was a lot of fighting with the kids in the school systems. So the, the Mexican and the black kids were literally going after each other. I mean... <laughs> they could <laughs> yeah. shut up. And I had to what do something What the fuck, Derek? Oh they were God. really wilding you... out, as they say. <laughs> and and I just felt... I took it upon myself to do something once and for all. Was he the screenwriter of Dangerous Minds? <laughs> uh, the Freedom fact writers. that this video is still up after eight hours is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> and I have it. I I actually have at least this one archived. Okay, so. thank you. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep at it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Stabbings every day, and that's what motivated me to. Do <laughs> it's stabbing the black every and the Mexican day? kids were stabbing each other so hard in 1999 <laughs> that, that I, started, I wrote about I a trout a with a series about a tr the fucking trout that finds a gun or some shit. <laughs> That'll solve it. In 1990, how old was he in 1999? How like he doesn't have a child? How does he know what the fuck was going on in school? It's like 52. just looking at fucking Fox News every day, being like, "Wow, he was Mexican a motivational speaker for what he called crazy." It, yeah. For fifteen to eighteen year old babies, yeah, he just soaks up like fucking <laughs> conspiracy. He was a, he was a stand-in for Edward James almost oh in a God. stand and deliver. <laughs> oh boy, Derek. It's different, you know. They all become buddies, and then oh, about two weeks later, after there was just so much crap going down in the school systems, uh, a lot of people they were starting to put gun metal detectors in all the in all the local schools. Gun you know, metal detectors. Right? And a lot of the kids were shooting. Well, it's a, it, uh, <laughs> people were overusing it as a color in uh, in their fashion. Everyone was going gun metal at the time, and so they put in detectors. To say no, that that's too much. Let's let's do some earth tones. Let's try something else. Too much like, gun metal. I like how he had to do the like super soaker like little. Pew, pew, yeah. like, and, and the kids were shooting each other. And he does it while matter <laughs> of factly visual. telling the, the his <laughs> mental statistics of the. The, 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 you know, the kids were pew pew and shoot each other, so you know, he's very like yeah, matter yeah. of fact about it. So I wrote about trolley. He said about trolley trout. Found this in the bottom of the fucking river. <laughs> and that's where this book came in right here. Trolley finds a gun, and uh, and here's a third one. Oh, this is such Charlie's a Trolley's got a stories. gun. Trolley and the stolen necklace. And now all those right Hispanic here. kids, they were stealing jewelry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In 1999, all the black right. and Hispanic kids stole too many necklaces, and that inspired me for this book. <laughs>
They were just doing that all the time in school. I don't know how Trolley I know that. Trolley stops the blackfish from taking someone's Jordan. Why would he? Why would <laughs> oh he? Oh my god! Like, honestly, what? Why the fuck would he mention race at all at that moment? Like, well, it's funny why? because he's out of his fucking mind, Adam. He, he doesn't has... understand reality. Yeah. He doesn't understand word by word coming out of his mouth. He just shuts it off and lets it. Flow. It explains his allegory, though. Like, how old is he? Like, what is he? Was he like? Is this the most senile version of him? I don't think so. I think as he gets older, it's gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah, there, right? there always, there's always oh, a bit no, of it's, cognitive it's, There's decline. more to come. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild. Uh, if you ride. notice, though, he didn't mention the other uh, ethnic group. Uh, they Chinese. weren't. Well, I was gonna Trans. say, I was gonna say, you know, no, the Caucasians. They weren't causing any trouble. It was the other two. <laughs> Caucasians I know, I know. and ethnic That's group? actually how he saw them. He's like, you want to bully something? Bully them. In Colorado, <laughs> on uh, let's say, oh, the the actually the 1999 <laughs> 420 awards in, uh, in <laughs> the, Colorado. The first 420 awards. Do anything? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, wait a minute. Awards. Wait a minute. That's exactly. Qualified. Hold on. That's exactly why metal detectors started getting installed in schools was yep. Columbine, not because white of like kids. yeah, not because of like the black and Mexican kids um, fighting. The white right? kids were wearing black, so it's kind of. A, I think yeah, it was like area. an a, like a like yeah. an upper class school too. I think it was like in a nice area yeah. and everything. And, yeah, like that 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 that's the entire reason why metal detectors started getting put in schools. Trench coats are and, synonymous and started with the mafia. Putting, uh, being put in schools. Which uh, apparently uh, have not stopped a single school shooting. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, same, same no. as the. They're about as effective as the TSA. Yeah, I've stopped more school shootings than the cops have just by being lazy. <laughs> I went to a Bernie <laughs> Sanders rally back when uh, he was running for president Rag. the first time, and him? the TSA did the security. Yeah. Yeah, like uh Ooh, they... that doesn't instill confidence. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, Bobby Bo puts him around okay, um yeah. If Skipper is in the in the swimming match and you know he lays his necklace down, there's Skipper right there having Ooh. fun and, and and he puts his necklace down because he's about to enter the thing and oh my lord. Hmm. The Bobby one with the, the long Bobby nose <laughs> just steals his necklace. Who needs I I he's, love how he's giving us plot snippets as if we have to know the end to the right. story. Like, like what's going to happen? I need to buy the book. <laughs> yes. Don't leave me hanging, Derek. Cliffhangers all the way. Is he going to get the necklace the back? He solves the case right there. And he makes everything really good. And, what if there's uh, a oh, why do I need to buy it now? <laughs> what if tell me the whole thing. What if there's a sicko out there that buys all these and just uses them as jerk mags? The pages are all stuck together because they love this shit so uh, much. You can start anytime. I would respect it. Yeah, what uh, what made you come up with that idea? Because you know was, me. I know you. Yeah. I used to hang out yeah, at this. OPP? I used to hang out at this uh, hovel house that was on school grounds, and the, the guy that ran it, he was a friend of mine's dad, and he reminded me a lot of Derek Savage. They had no furniture; they just had little TV stations throughout the house where the homeless people would cuddle up on old sleeping bags and jerk off to VHS tapes. And there was always a myriad of magazines sticking together, and a, the washing machine always reeked of Doritos. I don't know what they were washing in there, but it was really gross. And uh, every time I watch Derek Savage, it reminds me of, of that time in my life. Simpler and here's times. One of my, my favorite books. Now these are all picture books. Here is my first chapter book, and this is now Bible Birdie loves Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> has he has he always been religious? Yeah. I, well, it his, would suck like, if Bible Birdie first, hated Jesus. No. Yeah. His first like his first screenplays that he was talking about like they're like weird. Like some of them are God things. Some of them mm. are stri male stripper things. It's this weird mishmash of like you know what you don't you don't belong anywhere. <laughs> It's multiple niche. You, you can't pin them down. To fit into. I know. He was like he was in Play Playgirl, <laughs> and then he yeah. wrote he wrote The Dancer, a male stripper story, and also a, a, like a book slash screenplay called like God's Thunder and stuff like. It's just like pick a lane <laughs> and a sequel to Rosemary's Baby. What are Baby. you, Derek? <laughs> I feel like what am Derek? maybe he was gay for pay at one point too. Yeah. yeah like uh, oh, yeah. I mean, being in Playgirl is basically gay for pay because right. i got news for anyone who's ever been in playgirl girls don't read it right. girls don't come on the pages to that yeah. no just they a sexy don't. boy they don't jerk actually off. you can shorten that sexy sentence girls don't come. this yeah. is a fake not in my house if, if he if he if he was in hollywood in the 90s he was somebody's little 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 man you know he was a kept little man. Somebody's little man. He was somebody's little man. He was being used and abused, and he liked it. He was playing his little fucking guitar in the corner after he was done 
probably maybe he was pin cushioning somebody else. Being the book, five um, chapters. This is a chapter book right here. It's, you know, not pictures. This Whoa. is um, text. Right here. Not pictures. Well, this is, this <laughs> is absolutely spectacular. A kid's right faith-based something book. He should do cool. Can reads the Bible. And um, and I got another one. Um, By the way, Brody loves Satan. I wonder how familiar Derek is with the Bible, <laughs> right? Do, do they have an anime of the Bible? I think so. I would watch yeah. that. Attack on Titan. It's called Veggie Tales. Yeah. Dinosaur. And um, I have one illustrator that's been working on it a while. I haven't heard from it. Did I get the email last time? I just looked at it. All the pictures are there. So, Donnie, the dinosaur is coming at you, too. Woo! And I also have another series um, that I'm going to be looking for an illustrator for. And it's Poopsie the Wonder. Why do you need to look for an illustrator? Why can't you use the same one you've been using, Derek? Did you have a falling out with the six illustrators you've used across all these no, ones? No, never. Like, fucking God. Was he just, like, he, no, no. he burns every bridge he comes across. Poopsie? <laughs> Poopsie. Straight four, and it's Poopsie the Wonder Puppy. Po poops? <laughs> Poopsie the <laughs> Wonder <laughs> Puppy. Ah, uh, Poopsie. And he's a super huge uh, 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 wonder puppy. I got four stories in that, I think, that I've already read. He's got and about four there's stories. There's one where he finds a gun. Charlie there's the one child, where he cool cat, <laughs> baby cat, Bible, I mean, um, 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 best buddies. Unironically, and, and, Derek rocks black power better than Jesse Smollett. When he did damn. that running out of the courtroom, I was like, no, you're no Derek. So Savage. this can't be his only source what? of income, right? I don't fucking know. I wonder what else he's got going on. I mean, he did move to Gay Vegas. for pay. Yeah, Vegas is way cheaper than yeah, L.A. Exactly. Yeah, he moved to Vegas for financial reasons, one hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, he ke like he keeps grifting, like doing these campaigns for movies he doesn't make. So, and he yeah. came yeah, he's up kickstarted seventeen things that he's never made. He came up in a time when you could buy property with like a McDonald's salary. Budget. And yet he was doing Playgirl and it's now broke. Yep. <laughs> Donnie the Dinosaur. I think we're, we're starting to get some things locked up. Get here. some things. And also, just, <laughs> it's like Arsenio. Boxing. It's like old school, like, ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Um, um, I'm about to lay this out a little bit more, but I want to share with you with some of our new upcoming Cool Cat projects. Oh, when are I, you going to make them? Hmm. What Actually, I do is uh, no, he's not. Have Cool Cat read each book, and so um, I'm going to produce a 17 episode series of Cool Cat. I wonder how many books. grants he's been given to create this shit. I hope none. I bet you he's got like some, government grants, some I arts grants and stuff. One. I bet you he's gotten a few. I bet you he knows somebody in LA that just pumps him these fucking educational PSA grants. And he's, he's able to, like, continue feeding off this shit because he makes well, this garbage. The weird thing about, like, when, when I was first exposed to Cool Cat, um, it seemed like he had some sort of, like, L.A. connections because, like, the whole Eric Estrada, Vic, Vic, yeah. hey, Fox, it was in L.A. It had, like, you know, the production value wasn't great, but it was like, okay, you're just a somebody making something in L.A. But now it's like, over time, it's like, okay, you don't really, you're just like a crazy man doing this by yourself. That's the and majority I, I don't know of L.A. How, yeah, I, I just like, it's so weird that he had like the whole Hollywood parade and like all that shit. Like, at one point in time, he at least had the facade of like knowing what he's doing and having connections. The he majority least, of people got in enough LA. going that he could, yeah, he could make that. That's the majority of people in LA. Yeah, they they do that. It's all bullshit. Fake it till and the you bullshitters make it. play into the bullshitters, and it's like this house of cards. They they continue Very to true. like push each other, yep. and like they, they had that fucking Wolf of Wall Street movie, which was funded by some guy who frauded out all the money for it, and that was a huge movie, and that was a fucking house of cards. And so it's well, going to have educational value. It's going to be cool cat having fun. And, you know, with 17 episodes of Donnie the Dinosaur, because that's a picture book, that's going to make 18 right there. Eight, why would you even soon. say 17 and then add 18? <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's like one of those infomercials. Like, but actually, it's this price. Yeah. Like, fuck off. Like, it's 17 <coughs> episodes. But then it's a Donnie the Dinosaur is 18. But then. So, by the way, I would just like to, like remind all of you what he's talking about he literally described it as cool cat reading the books that he just listed that's the, that's the show <laughs> there's 18 the episodes of cool cat reading books and it's just Derek in a fursuit yep. reading these fucking shitty things he wrote there's just one man thing Derek oh Savage God. is a remedial Ron Popeil oh. <laughs> I wanna I wish 
it's so sad because I wish I could support him like Neil Breen, you know, like I wish I could donate. I wish I could share his donation pages, but he's such a he's such a scammer and a grifter and a dishonest person. And he treats everybody Sorry, like I'm shit late. that I'm like, Dealing I can't share his sucks. thing. Visiting dad's grave this weekend might not be online this weekend. Anyway, to train. Choo choo. Yeah, choo -choo. cheers, Egghead. Every Sorry time you that. guys feel sad or down and out, just send us money like Egghead Is does. Neil is Neil a little off too? But he's just like but a nicer guy. But he's a good guy. person. Okay. And he like, yeah, he 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 does all these like uh, uh, like screenings of his films, and like fans are there, and like yeah, like people laugh at it and stuff. But he, you know, there's some level of like delusion, self delusion there. Yeah. Um, but he's like, he's not a piece of shit that keeps scamming people, and he delivers on the things yeah, that he makes. Um, Neil Breen's a very silly goose, but there is no malice. Yeah, he's a good person. Breen. He he's a good person. Does he think his stuff is? He's also made like six movies instead of just recycling the same short film over and over again for ten years. Is he like a Tom Lee Although it's kind, every movie is kind of Neil is Breen is Jesus. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he's like Tommy Wiseau. If Tommy Wiseau made more than one good movie, okay, like Neil Breen yeah. delivers hit after hit. He's like so much better than Tommy Wiseau. It's gonna take another Breen's twenty years. Never had a miss. It's gonna take another twenty years for people to realize this. Like Tommy Wiseau is popular because like the meme has existed for so long, and then like fucking James Franco played him in a movie and shit. Right, like, right. Like it's so, but Neil Breen is like the real McCoy. Like, he's, like, he's the legit shit. But they're, like, ironically good, right? They're not, Oh, like... but there's... You have never oh, seen no, a Neil Breen film? I have never they're seen insane. one. Oh! Actually. I'm gonna show you a Neil Breen film! Oh, We're gonna I've watch Fateful Findings. Fateful Findings. I've seen clips oh my and I, God. a lot of green Fateful screen findings. work. Like, he has, like, a giant room. You have that... no idea. You have to experience it. Fateful okay. Findings. You gotta see a Neil Breen film live. Like, you gotta, like, you gotta go the to, like, theater? one of the... Yeah, I'm sure his next film will have a theatrical run. His previous film did. I saw it. I managed yep. to catch it twice in theaters because I like happened to be. Uh, I caught one here in Seattle, and then I happened to be at a furry convention in Chicago during mm. the time where it was like showing there. And like both times are just like amazing crowd energy. Just like one of the best movie experiences I've ever had. Of just like, like it's just it's phenomenal. It's fantastic. Like you, you got to check it out. I'm yeah. I'm a. I'm a it's great. I Neil got to Green see it with you in Seattle, whatever. and it was pretty. It was I so hadn't good. known any of it going into it, and it was pretty. It was fucking amazing. Pretty intense. It's nothing. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. It's, Hear that, it's Derek? So much better. And like the, you can't watch the room anymore because everybody just says the same jokes every single time. Me, Monty. Like yeah, and it's just mm. like oh, everyone's just saying like the spoon at the, you know, like fuck. I kind of got that like, way with have to Rocky Horror. It, like yeah, like I don't know. It's like but, a new film that people are like passionately with, reacting to with neil breen you can understand how this movie got made with tommy wiseau it's like that's the mystery you're watching and like, he can't how replicate does it, it exist that's the yeah. big problem is that tommy wiseau can never replicate it he's tried to do it like yeah. oh i'm making a comedy now with like the neighbors or something where it's like okay yeah. now that you're trying to make a comedy and failing can't now it's not it. funny neil breen has been unchanged because there's a part of his brain he, the films that he makes are so like weirdly complicated and you have no idea what the fuck's going on and he thinks that the reason people doesn't like don't like it is because it's like oh well they just don't get it it's like they don't understand the metaphor blah, 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 blah. like nobody really understands what's going on so he's able to delude himself in that way where he continues to remain consistent and there's like some tiny things where he's been self-conscious about it. he's like he literally said before um uh one of his films he's like don't worry there won't be any laptops in this movie which is like after i had pointed it out <laughs> uh on the internet and made that kind of a meme um but yeah, he's like he's remained so true and pure and consistent and like it's just yeah, Neil Breen is like a fucking god. He mm. deserves to play a god in all of his films, so yeah, I love true. him. Yeah. It's accurate. Well, then I'm jumping on that right there. So that's that's what's And you think Derek could have reached a level If he wasn't a piece of shit. Yep. Okay. I mean, if like he, he wasn't an asshole, his his movie I want to support his content cuz his content's funny and I love it, but like you, you you can only go so far when you say I'm raising money to do this and then you don't do it and you take the money and do something else like I'm sorry I can't share that it's pretty fu like yeah he's done that like a few times now mm. where he's like changed what the Kickstarter was after he collected the money like that's I can't I'm don't sorry. scam like how do you understand that people can't promote that like how do you expect me to promote that you're just kind of an asshole that's what's on deck as they say in baseball lingo right there what guys hey 
Thomas, baseball thanks lingo. I'm about to make another video right now for you about our brand new film. And get ready for this one. Where's the school super, shooting movie? Super duper awesome. I want to see that poster again. Yeah. I want, to, yeah. I want to really soak that in. Yeah. They're all Unleashed. the same, too. I wonder who made them. <laughs> right. I don't <laughs> remember this being the name of what was being advertised earlier. Yeah. Do you think he Featuring got Featuring the real... world's mm -hmm. only civilian owned Harrier jet. <laughs> he got the real Harrier jet to compete so he, with Top Gun? He, he hired the only person on Earth that owns a Harrier jet privately. Clearly some other psychopath in Las Vegas. Yes. I don't know how he gets anybody to do anything. Like, there in his uh, gun safety movie, he'll like interview some like local radio host or something that will he'll get to promote the film. Like, I don't know if he pays them or like what's going. I don't know how he gets anybody to agree to do anything with him. It's his does he infectious him, good vibes. Does he show them his catalog? Like, so. what the fuck? What does he do? <laughs> this was yeah, scripted by them. Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> now, was this the Harrier jet that was given away in the '90s as like a no a that Capri is, Sun? Thing that ended or up being a scam. It was Capri some Sun? kind of po well. It was. I, I don't know if it was Capri Sun. It was something where you like if you consumed enough of this product, you oh. earn points. And they suggested Leech. if you earned this many points, you'd get a Harrier jet. Yeah. And some oh. kid actually gained that many points and they wouldn't give them the hair. Cause they I heard yeah. about that. They couldn't. Is that they like a real it. thing or is that one of those like weird uh, rumors? I think it's true. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty true. sure it's real. Look at that. This this guy, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Knowles. Pepsi contest. That's Arthur it. Knowles Jr. is a retired United States Marine Corps officer, test pilot, and entrepreneur who owns and operates a unique air show business consisting of two Harrier jump jets as well as an L-39 Albatross. So uh, he's a 68-year-old madman. He probably does a lot of well, fucking... Well, he, he has experience in aviation, so that's a big thing. He looks um, like him in a... Savage would get along. Like, look at this guy's face. They've probably gone to town on some <laughs> nice. some strippers oh, with some Nielsen. cocaine. Yeah, a little young Les. It's reanimated Nielsen. Harrier jets are cool though because they can take off like they take off with like thrusters oh. on the bottom, so okay. they go like up like that. It's pretty cool. What is super duper super duper awesome, guys? God bless. Hey, be sure, <laughs> be sure to go out to tell all your friends about Cool Cat. The website is Cool Cat Loves You. I've been around a lot of years now. You know that I really am here to try to help the kids. It shows. And try That's to what you're here to do. This world in this crazy ass time that we're having. So, so not be as sure crazy as 1999. All, all your family. All your <laughs> 99 was everyone. wild. And <laughs> For the blacks and Mexicans, cool anyway. Cool Cat. And I, 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 it. He's never had self awareness, but I was still so shocked when he said that. <laughs> it was like, I, what are you they doing? They were stabbing Derek? each other, so oh I made God. a fish. So I made a I fish. I made a fish book. I made a fish. <laughs> it is for, for everybody. Homeschool, public schools, yes, get cool cat and everything. You know what they Hotel, said about dead bodies? Hotel, Holiday Inn. <laughs> He's, he's, they sleep with the fishes. He still thinks he can get like a deal with like a school or something. Like, I don't know. He thinks he can get on Netflix. He shouldn't even be able to live near a school. He thinks he can get Britney Spears. He shouldn't even be able to live. And he's settling for her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I figured, you know, I'd settle for this Britney Spears. Natalie yeah. Portman's too busy with Marvel. He should get signed under a conservatorship from her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he might have her new dad. He <laughs> might have had a better chance getting her when she was under the conservatorship. <laughs> yeah, true. He should have hit up Mr. Yeah, Spears. It's up his her dad, Jamie. Hey, I'd like to buy your daughter. <laughs> I would like to borrow your daughter. Have a blessed day. <laughs> a blessed day. New song. Charlie the Trout's song. So we found some woman that could sing uh, and paid her how much? To... I don't know if this is a new. That was Derek or... singing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, is this Derek? Is he just jazzy I, I, as fuck? Yeah, I, he can hit. With that toss salad and scrambled eggs, coming again. I really hope that in he the... He got uh... Mavis Staples to say. <laughs> hey everyone, it's June 2022, so let's update the Patreon credits. My $5 and up patrons are... Wrigglemoss, Speak of the Joker, 
Brennan Keller, Melly, Black Mama 1993, Mitzi Marcella, Yup Yup Yup, Caden Mack, Andre Philippe, Charisma, the Super One player, Jacob Arndt, Zachary Kane, Sam Joel, Cheat.exe, Gothic Sith, Mandel Bro, Wales, Bo the Doggo, Gabriel Herrera, Hufido, and Malav Shah. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.